we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do um, your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's happening for Leo. What is happening for my Leos? What's happening for, okay, two cards coming up. We got the Ten of Pentacles. And then the two of pentacles. So we've got a foundation laid and then we got change. So we've got something that's going to, like, is real. Like we, we have something real. We have, this could even be in regards to family. Something about changing though. Something that's been long standing, long existing in your life. I don't know what this is. Um, let's see, what what is changing here? Maybe you want to be independent nine of pentacles from you know a family or doing something that you were doing with a large group or a group of people um you want to go from maybe uh depending on or ha having to have a husband or depending on family or uh, relying on family uh reliability in terms of emotional stability you want to be independent of that or you have become independent of that what is this about you got a lot of pentacles here so it's about what you want established and something is ending here. You have six of swords. I can't make, so it's like you're moving on. You just feel like you can't win for losing with these people um, or this energy or whomever it is. You may even feel like, okay, it's an uphill battle. These people don't like me. They're jealous of me. It's always drama. Um, there is no winning this. There's nothing but losers all around because we have a connection. We're family, okay? Um, you've been trying to tiptoe or deal with these people far too long or this relationship far too long, but now you're moving on. The, the Six of Swords says the best way to resolve something or to change um, or to get what you want is to move on, you know, chart a new path to um, peace, serenity, calm, success. So um, you could be moving on from the headache of previous relationships. Relationships are all types of relationships whether they're platonic, romantic, familiar, whatever. So when you hear relationships, don't just think of romantic, like boyfriend, it's all, all of them, business, you know, whatever. So you may be moving on from whatever type of relationship, just moving on, let's see. Yeah, the luge, you're coming out of some type of uh, illusion, the tower here. It, I keep hearing like shit just keeps happening, the same shit with the same people, because the tower is about historical reference. So. Because we've got history in this one issue, in this one person, with this one situation, with this one family member, or with these many family members, or with this many group of people. Like, I'm, I'm tired, I gotta move on. Or in this relationship, the same issues keep arising. We keep arguing about the same shit. This needs to go, you know? I need to move on, what else? Yeah, five of um, swords. You just feel like it's an uphill battle. You, and 
So the Bible story talks about reversal. It talks about interjection, interference. So uh, we talk about the same issues. We get nowhere because there's no resolve. And then boom, here it comes again. We just go back. It's just reversing. Um, one last card for what's going on for Leo here. This could be any type of relationship that you're in. Wow, the world card. I did a reading before, but I had to cut it off. Um, for you, um, the world card came out. So it's just like you just said, fuck it. I'm just going my own way. I'm a, I'm an island at this point. I'm all by myself. It is what it is. I'm going to do life on my own terms. Be me. Be, you know, you just like, fuck it. I just get a, a big energy of fuck it because you want to break free of Eight of Swords. This mental prison, this jail that people are trying to bring you into or the, the circle of drama, the circle of um, mental instability insanity doing the same thing over you're done with it um let's get you some future energy so that was fast uh leo you're done you're done being in the middle of this you're, you're over it it is what it is you know f them all for right now maybe if things will change maybe things won't or this is what someone is saying in regards to you they're done with you leo future energy can't make it up coughing over it's a no-go. The answer is no. It is closed. This is when you lock something. You lock a box and it's done. So when you when it's in the coffin, most coffins are nailed shut, put in the ground, boom, done. So you're oh, it's something that's over, done. You're not going back to it. This could even be like some type of relationship. Let's see. What's going on? Yeah, distant horizons. You're looking towards the future. You feel like you're healing or you're finding some type of godlike complex within yourself. It's just like you just don't have time for this bullshit. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve the new you or what you want for yourself. Yeah, house here. Um, this, t this could be indicative of a relationship, a long-standing relationship. Something is, so the sun is setting, you know, and then there's going to be sunrise. So something could be ending and then something new beginning. Again, you're moving on. Maybe from some long-lasting relationship. It could be a marriage. It could be with family, a friend. It don't even, it just, I, <clears throat> I just feel like you're like, no, this is done. Maybe from a mature man, um, somebody with gray hair, or somebody who's giving you gray hair, like, you know, stressing you out, or it's stressing you out, or you're gonna do the mature thing. You're gonna take the high road. There's no mitigating these circumstances with these people. They don't wanna hear you out. They're committed to not liking you. They're committed to being in drama and discord. So you're done. Yeah, and again, the nine of pentacles, the privileged lady. You're an island all to yourself. You're just like, whatever, I'm going to do me. Or you're a man that's like all to himself. I'm just going to do me. I'm privileged in the, in the regards of I can take care of myself. It is what it is. I'll be single. This is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. And down in the comment section, you can let me know how it resonates for you. Like you get, are you just done? Cause I get like a big energy of just done, done, done. Like done in capital letters. Um, tell me what you're done about. You know, you don't have to go into all the details, but yeah. Or you can just type done. If you want to manifest something being done, Let's all collectively manifest that. You type done down in the comment section, all right? Um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time answering your questions and doing a collective reading for you. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.